The Hawk IPC System Restore, which is also known as the XPE image, will upgrade your console's XPE, Hog 3 PC, Hog 2 PC, and IPC config panel software. It will also reformat your hard drive, so before you begin, make sure you save all of your show files and preference files to some external media. To download the software, start at www.flyingpig.com and click Downloads. Click on the IPC logo to go to the Software Updates page and scroll to the bottom to find the XPE image. Grab a copy of the release notes so you'll know what's included in the software and then click on Download Page for XPE Image. Here, enter in your name and your IPC's serial number, which can be found on the back of the console. Click on Hog IPC System Restore CD and save this file to your computer. While downloading, click on the Installation Instructions link. The file that you are downloaded needs to be burned as a bootable file, so that means you can't just burn the ISO to a CD. You'll need a special CD burning program. I like DeepBurner, and there's a link to the instructions for this program here. If you don't already have DeepBurner, click this link to get the free version. Once you've got the System Restore file downloaded, open DeepBurner and select Burn an ISO image. Click this Browse button and select the ISO file. Then click Burn ISO and DeepBurner will take care of the rest. Now that you've got your System Restore CD, you'll also need a USB or PS2 keyboard. Connect the keyboard to the back of the IPC Insert the System Restore CD into the drive and restart the console. When your console starts up, watch your right monitor for a screen that prompts you to press any key to boot from CD. When you see this, use your external keyboard to start the process. The console will then begin to extract information from the CD to start the process. After a couple of minutes, we'll be presented with this lovely screen that asks us for the appropriate restore option. Use your external keyboard's tab key to cycle through the options. We want the full system restore, so highlight that and hit enter. The console will ask you one more time to confirm this. Again, use the tab key to select confirm and hit enter. The console will now go through the rest of the process to fully restore your hard drive. Be sure to leave the CD in the drive for the entire process. That portion of the upgrade process will take between 10 and 15 minutes. You'll know it's complete when the console reboots itself and presents you with the HOG3 PC start screen. The first thing you'll need to do is use your trackball to select the touch screens button on your right monitor and recalibrate your touch screens. After that, you can take your show files from your CD or thumb drive and place them right back onto the console's hard drive.